Hey everyone, Coach K here. In this video, we're going to clear up the jargon in crypto so you can understand all the crypto terms that people say like HODL and MOON. I'm feeling pretty bullish about this one. Fat kiddo, fat, fat kiddo. Welcome back to Cryptocurrency Education and Coach K. So today, like I said, we're going to learn vocabulary of cryptocurrency trading terms so that you know what people are talking about when they say things like beside me. So first thing we have is an altcoin. An altcoin is basically anything um, that is not Bitcoin. Um, so the first one was Bitcoin. Altcoins are other coins other than Bitcoin, basically. Um, ATH means all time high. That just means when um, a price is at the highest it's ever been recorded on the market. Okay. Um, next is bullish and bearish. When we're bullish, it means that we're going to have really big increases of price like we saw in 2017 with Bitcoin um, and bearish is like 2018 where we saw the decline of prices throughout the year. Fiat currency obviously is cash. So any any country's cash is fiat currency like US dollar and euro is Canadian dollars, etc. Cold storage, Trezors, uh, Nano Ledger S, uh, these things let you keep your cryptocurrency off of the exchange in a safe wallet that you control. FOMO, you probably heard this before. It's that fear of missing out, that feeling in your side of you when you see something going up a lot and you want to get in, but it's already gone up a lot uh, and you still try to want to get in because you don't want to miss out it going even more up. That's the fear of missing out or FOMO. Don't get into that spree. It's bad. It's an emotional bad thing to get into. FUD is basically when the news makes up stories that um, would scare the public, give you fear that the company is going to go under, uncertainty that the company is actually legit or if it's a scam uh, or doubt where you're like, oh, no, maybe this company isn't good. So those are FUD. FUD things are uh, when you see them, they're not facts. They're FUD. So they're not really proven. Okay. So a fudster would be someone that does go around spreading lots of FUD, being that person who's always like freaking everyone out and making them worry. A fork is basically blockchain's immutable, so it cannot be changed. So let's say if you you were a hospital and you put a patient's records in, incorrectly and you were on blockchain, this is a bad use for blockchain, um, you wouldn't be able to change it unless you hard forked it, which means you have to redo the whole network and separate the blockchain. So because of that, um, that's why blockchain can be good and bad, but a fork is basically to split it so that you can fix a problem that happened that you can't fix. HODL is basically holding on your coins for dear life. And so that's basically just when you don't sell, you hold. ICO is an initial coin offering. It's when a new company wants to crowdfund and raise cash flows for their new company to create something or do something, um, whether it be an exchange, creating a dApp, etc. Market cap is basically the, the market when we look at it, it has a ceiling and the market cap is the top of that ceiling. So that's what market cap is. Uh, mooning. So you probably heard someone say when moon before or something like those, uh, some of those guys that are out there. Um, and what you can know is mooning is basically when a coin is just going way up. Okay. So that's like, it's gone up a lot. Proof of stake is a type of way to get money for holding a coin for a long period of time. So you lock it up and then it gets you a dividend basically. Proof of work. Think of all those machines and Bitcoin factories if you've seen them. Um, they're working on cracking a really difficult math problem. And if they figure it out first, they win Bitcoin as the reward of the block. Satoshi is the person who created Bitcoin, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto and a Satoshi is one hundredth millionth of a Bitcoin. Okay. So one eight, eight decimal places back. One is a Satoshi. ROI is return on investment. So getting your money back when you invested. Qualitative analysis is research by quantifiable information. TA is looking at the market and technically analyzing the market and uh, looking through different trends and patterns and picking, you know, coins that are going to go up. Pump and dump P and D. Um, we'll see those, uh, you can see that at the bottom left corner here, uh, pump and dump groups, basically what they are, are they purposely push a market cap of a coin up. So they put a lot of money into it and get a lot of people to do it. And then other people see that and they put their money and then they take their money out and they basically get a lot of people to invest They're the pump, the coin up to a certain level. And then they sell all their coins and leave a lot of those people lost money. A wallet is basically think of your actual wallet in your pocket or your purse that you would have. A Bitcoin or crypto wallet basically is that, but on um, the internet, 
on a cryptographic key, so uh, a private key. So that's how we save your wallet. And um, as long as you don't give anyone access to that wallet, uh, you should always have your coins be very safe. Blockchain is basically a distributed ledger. What that means is when you buy something traditionally now, you would write, I bought one coffee for X amount of dollars. And so you would write in the ledger of your business that they bought one coffee for $3, for example. Now you can go in there anytime and be like, actually it's 250 and just change it. With Bitcoin and blockchain, you can't, it's distributed. Meaning there are several computers around the world confirming that that transaction happened that say, yes, that is good. Yes, that is good. If one of those computers says, no, that's not good. That block will not, it, it doesn't go forward. That transaction is going to fail. So the whole point of blockchain is it keeps it very, very transparent. It's immutable. We can't change anything. If you put it was one for three, it's one for three forever. Uh, and this is where the transparency and beauty comes in blockchain because it's distributed so not one person is in control of it. It's on the whole network and all these different random computers will be confirming these transactions actually happen or don't. So it's really, really cool. That's why blockchain has a very interesting um, movement right now going on in the world. And then a whale is basically someone who's got a lot of money uh, who can invest large amounts of money into crypto. So that's basically it. So those are all your crypto trading terms. I know there's a lot. You'll probably have to watch this video again. All right. See you guys later. Hope uh, this helps a uh, little bit of your understanding of what when people are saying FUD and FOMO and Moon. Maybe now you understand. See you guys in the next video. Fat kiddle. Fat, fat kiddle. Fat kiddle. Huge fat kiddle.